Okay. Hello. Nice to have you on, Nate. <sighs> Everything looks spiffy. Well, and hopefully this one will go without a hitch. See, all right, yeah, there was a little conspiracy of diglets there. Alright, and then there was hop. So just in case. Yeah, everyone's healed. Mariona. I'm still not too sure what I should do about all that stuff I told you before. About me being weak and dragging down Lee's good name and all, yeah? But the only thing I can do is get stronger, right? So I'm gonna try out all kinds of different things against you and see what works. Sure. Then let's do this. I bet an all-out battle with my true rival will help me get my head on straight. I mean... You know what? Sure, buddy. Cobalt Alchemist has two plaques of Pit Fiend, Lion to do Shiny Chairman to do a size of Toss Mines. All I'm after is victory, and I'm counting on you to help me grab it. I cannot guarantee that, dude. You look like. Burb. Derpy bird, indeed. Wait, wait. Okay, I, I know it's just part of the battle system and all that, but... Wow. I'm probably too fast for you, ain't I? Or I guess not. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. Who wouldn't aim for a super effective hit if they had the chance, right? Okay, so that's the, the deal with the... Wow. Send in Silicobra. Silicobra. I'm guessing a rock type. Because silic ma makes me think of um, silicon, so. And that's a mineral, so. Has a chance to get another form of ammunition with dive? Wow. Oh. Ouch, even I hurt when you managed to land a critical hit like that one. <laughs> I did not expect that. Oh, 
Honestly, sticking with Eye Dragon is probably for the best. Yeah, that's pretty cool that, like, its little gimmicky thing is that it gets a, a, a thing-o when it dives underwater. Let's do a Durgan Breath. Oh, he hung in there. Right, poison is super effective against grass. How's that? Super effective damage. I'm always looking for an opening. I mean... Yeah. Huh. Of the places to use... Okay, he used an item, so that is something. But yeah, that was not uh, ideal. <laughs> Yeah, let's, uh, get our starters up against each other. I don't know what I can do to try to win now, but all I can do is try. There's nothing else for it. I mean, credit for trying, dude. My strategy goes right to pot when I've got all these bad thoughts running through my head. Switching my team members in and out to max out their potential in every matchup, but I just couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm still so weak. But Lee really is the greatest trainer. And I don't want people to be laughing at him all because his little brother is rubbish. It's not enough. I've gotta try harder! And harder and harder till no one's laughing! Oh, you sweet child. I'm off, mate. Off to find the kind of Pokemon that I can really draw the strength out of. Uh, yeah, they're not laughing at him for that, that's for sure. That child. Gym challengers should battle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why worry about saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. Anyway, here's something for letting me watch your battle. Thanks. Now, on you go, child. You're headed to the Stowan Side Gym next, no? The gym challenge is about having fun. I I I almost expect her to whip up her uh, her parasol. And just float away Mary Poppins style. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, man, like, okay, I'm glad that Hop is, like, trying to do better and, like, strategize and stuff. Like, I do think that is kind of nice for his character. It's just, man, like, honestly, you know what, for anything, I'm happy that he's still going through with it and, like, trying to do better. I know some of it is probably some of his natural enthusiasm, but I'll admit, I kind of want him to keep going it for no other reason than because, um... I, I, I prefer... I prefer Hop's hyper-enthusiasm to Bede's assholishness. And the idea of seeing Hop continue on and potentially frustrate Bede just warms the cockles of my hearts. Ooh, he can then go in there. 
Thank you for choosing my flying taxi. Please take this TM as a token of my gratitude for your patronage. And you have... Oh, so you have fly. I mean, I don't need it for exploration purposes, but still. Yeah. The first airborne taxi in the Gala region was a Corviknight. We've been keeping the tradition ever since. Neat. Like, I think that's one thing I, I didn't realize I would potentially like is... Besides the fact that it's cool to have, um... Rivals of different dispositions to kind of bounce yourself off of and enjoy for different reasons. It's interesting seeing how they work off each other with... You have the... The enthusiastic, friendly one versus the... Guy you just want to punch in the face for his arrogance. See, there's the gym, or stadium, or whatever. I'll explore around first. Cat. Cat, cat. Okay, Diglett. I want to show the stone side runes to my Diglett. Who knows, maybe it'll awaken some latent artistic talent, right? Hmm. Come see the famed sites of stone side. Discover the history of the Gala region. Maybe that'll be neat to look at. Quite an impressive gym stadium. I mean, it's, it's a thing. I like, I suppose that's neat. It has like a river and stuff around it. The places where you can Dynamax your Pokemon are known as power spots. The gym stadiums of the Gala region are built on these power spots. Okay. The ocean, huh? Not a mountain, huh? I guess. Okay. Well, that's... So... We got the sword there, the shield there, a bunch of flowers. I, f I imagine that's graffiti down there in the lower right. Maybe. And then there's that strike through at the top. In the corner of San Ruby. <laughs> Uh. Hmm. It's still on side's famous mural. It's said to be a very a very deep work of art. Hmm. And there's that big crack down there. Like Yeah, it's simple. Like, I know there's a whole thing, oh, Mike, I have a kid who could do that. Get, I'm admiring the view, man. Like, yeah, I could see someone like, oh, yeah, a child could make that. But you know what? I, I would say, first of all, just think of the sheer logistics of trying to make something on this big of a scale. Like, You, no matter what, this requires some amount of effort just to, like, get all of the... Just to get that all done, like, you'd have to, like, either, you know, get some... Scaffolding or something to get that together, or a very long tool. And I would also say, just also... The the vibrancy of the colors is very nice. 
I would not expect that to last long on a mountainside, but... It's nice. And I'd say overall, the fact that the composition is... Like, the overall shape of the thing is this symmetrical... I mean, obviously not everything is, like, the same, but, like, the fact that, like, it's this nice, even shape... ...is impressive. I suppose that's one of those things where I, I don't know how recent it was, but yeah. <laughs> the art group. Hell yeah, Vito! Gotta have that major in art count for something. Yeah. Some Pokemon live in the mountains, some Pokemon live in the forests. So many different species. And. I guess suppose another thing that comes to mind is the thought of, like, whether or not that was made with modern tools or something else. Because so that is an ancient piece that is impressive, especially. Uh, let's check back at the gym first. That... That's looking... Those, those are some vibes I'm not ready to deal with quite yet. Uh... Yes! Yeah. All right, ball guy. What do you got for me? Hey there. Thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. That bag on your back is looking pretty heavy. Speaking of heavy, let me give you this very special Pokeball. Oh, the yeah, the heavy ball. Pokeball that's better than usual at catching very heavy Pokemon. Heavy balls rock and roll at catching heavy Pokemon. Pretty straightforward, right? If you're a fan of big, heavy Pokemon, then this is the Pokeball for you. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? They sure are, ball guy. The thick, yeah, the thick ball. That would that that would be a. Name. Uh, for 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 catching thick Pokemon. Uh, who are you, ball guy? Let's see, oh, I saw her on the telly. I've been on television. I'm doing my gym challenge while I'm raising my Pokemon, but I may have to change my team members. Yeah. You've come all the way to Still on side, so be sure to win. Yeah, that is my intent. Many challengers have already given up their gym challenges, but you and your Pokemon have been hanging in there. Wait, she's a new gym challenger? Yeah. Eep! A gym challenger! Are you here to challenge the gym? Yes. Okay, in that case, please change into your uniform. Yes, the changing room is, uh, right over there. You're a nervous fellow. Number 359, do your best. This is the ghost gem, isn't it? Let's see, it's, I think it's one of the exclusive gems. Oh. Hmm. Mission is still sent. Uh, ah, yeah. 
Allow me to explain the gym mission for Still On Side's gym. To complete the mission, you'll need to ride in one of these cups and make your way to the goal while trying to avoid obstacles. Let me tell you a bit more about how to operate this fun attraction. Rotate your control stick to the right and the cup will start to spin to the right. Rotate it to the left to make the cup spin left. If you hit a wall, rotate the stick as quickly as you can to get yourself out of that sticky situation. Now have a good time watching the world spin as you try to reach the goal. And on you spin, and good luck. See, mission spinning spin so I didn't feel thematic. Yeah. I suppose that's one of those things where they tried to do conserve the amount of work they put in. But it would be nice if they, you know, put more uh, effort into, a uh, like, taking advantage of uh, making it more different. If they're going to, you know, go to the trouble of making a version exclusive, you know, do a neato thingy. No worries, Bren. He's trying to stop an insect invasion when involved. Ah, yeah. So... Spin the teacups too much and gym challengers go flying. Okay. Hello, Clive. Right, and Psychic does not do well with Ghost. I remember that much. Yeah, might as well send in Conrad. Speaking of thick Pokemon. <laughs> Got anything I can steal? Oh wow, that was a critical hit. <laughs> Got nothing, okay. The ghost child Pokemon. And, like, I, I I know that the the dex entries are meant to be taken with a grain of salt, but man, the the, the lore they present for that is something. Now, Pumpkaboo. Construct additional pumpkins. Liquidation. What is liquidation? The user sends into the target using a full force blast of water, it may also lower the target's defense stat. What I got now is, uh, I mean, mm, yeah. I lost. My consciousness has been set flying. Gym Challenger, just how high will you fly? Don't tie yourself down. Okay. Huh. 
Yeah, like, I think I see what you mean, especially how it's like, I mean, this is a fun, like, this is a fun little gimmick. But... Yeah, like, outside of some of the aesthetic looking kind of creepy, this doesn't really scream ghosts. Back and forth, back and forth, you're spinning! Back and forth, back and forth! Me too. Like, this is something I could see, like, maybe if it were meant to be, like, a steel type for, like, a gyroscope theme? Yeah. Like, th this actually has me thinking about another thing I thought would be uh, cool that they might do someday. Um... If they were ever to switch things around with how this game works, where instead of having the gems be around elemental affinities, I think it would be cool if they instead had gems based around like other themes, like maybe either a combat strategy or just some other kind of theme that isn't necessarily an elemental thing. You could have an arcade that's based on, like, you know, electricity and steel. That maybe has, like, elements of, oh, you gotta go through, I don't know, something like a... a shmup sequence or a DDR thing or whatever. I, I'm spitballing, but yeah. Losing made me remember. The gym leader wears a mask. Why? <gasps> Our tiny hat friend is evolving! Into... Still a tiny hat friend, but with bigger, but with bigger hat hair. <laughs> this cute. Oh, oh, she's suspended up by uh. But I, I, I guess the the feet, the little feats of hair. <laughs> Hatrum. Using the braids on its head, it pummels foes to get them to quiet down. One blow from those braids would knock out a professional boxer. Wow. Wants to learn brutal swing. Well, let's see. Brutal swing. It's a dark move. The user swings its body around violently to inflict damage on everything in its vicinity. Hmm. Yeah, it's a physical attack. Like, I like the idea of dark type for the coverage, but... Uh... I think my current set is good enough. Yeah. Let's see, I have to do a little quick answer. Yeah! <laughs> And a fun old time, just smack smack. Gotta keep going. Or just 
do do I gotta go into the left one first and is that like a super powerful one yes that is in fact the case You understand what ghost type Pokemon are weak to? I don't think. So. You have not been watching me on the path up here, have you, dude? Yes, the power of darkness. Let's back you out. power of the dark flute compels you. Let's see. We might as well just go ahead and get our snarl on. Yep. Let's learn Tail Slap. Slant. The user attacks by striking the target with its hard tail. Oh, so it's basically um, the usual five strike thing, but. Yeah, that is just useless on. on Thievel. Drifblum. I might as well let battery acid do 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 the thing. If I recall, they also have the aftermath. They don't? Huh. I, I could have sworn that they, uh... When Drifflim faints, they would, like, do damage. See, so if you understand type matchups, it's only naturally to be easier to win. Might be hidden ability. Yeah, that must be. Even if you don't hit your weaknesses, it's fine as long as you win, right? Hey, yeah. Oh, overwhelming force can win now. So... Let's do a quick healy do. See, it has Aftermath or Unburden as its basics. Okay. I did the thing. Go! Gym mission cleared. And now the fun part. Oh, it's you. You the, the freaking shy guy, dude. Master. Here I go. Oh my god, you are a shy. You are literally shy. Oh gosh. Uh... Now he has eyes! That is a throw. <laughs> oh.
Mimikyu. Yeah, we can keep this up. And it is a pretty sweet, uh, pretty sweet beat. If I recall, you're not going to be O-Code because you have that whole substitute thing going. On... Yeah... How are you doing that? making me work for it, that's for sure. I thought I was just going to be able to sweep with Conrad, but I guess not. And yeah, he probably would have had a better time of it if he uh, started with the buff. Right, yeah, I forget Mimikyu is part fairy. I mean, I heard the thing about Chrysola being, like, dead coral and all that, but I... That is funky. Ghost curse is always a freaking thing. Huh? You know what? Yeah, it's a shame that you won't get anything out of that curse. My very last Pokemon. How lonely. How frightening. Gigantamax, swallow everything in darkness. Ah yes, the Hellmouth. Ah yes, the K 
can you beat? Big hair? Yeah, he, he does have a pretty cool design. I'll give him that. Battlefield got weird. Do something dumb. Do something dumb. G Max Terror. It's like Shadow Tag. Don't get away. Oh, what? No! Well. Get eaten. I thought ghosts didn't work on fighting. Don't affect each other. Okay, I guess I was thinking of times I've seen that fighting doesn't hit ghost. I guess I thought it was the same. I guess not. my mask from the shock. That was... Wow. I could see your skill for what it is. I mean, he, he, he gave me more trouble than the other gym leaders have. I'll give him that. Crumbs. That was ace. Here. A ghost batch. What's wrong with this kid? There's nothing wrong with this kid. He he he's clearly just an introvert. <laughs> Who made a very bad career decision, I think. G good luck with um everything. I like this kid. Challenger Riona. I, I I see they didn't they didn't do That sir is not an ellipsis. This this game has improper grammar in it. 
Zero out of ten. Not even playable. It's awful. It... Yeah. Challenger Riona, you've defeated our gym leader, Alistair. Take this TM as a reward for your victory. It's Hex! Hex. Hex, it's Hex! Uh, relentless attack does massive damage to a target affected by status conditions. And a complimentary ghost-type uniform. The ghost badge suits you. You're right on track, Riona. If you say so. My work. Hey, dear. Looks like my yamper really likes you, huh? Anyway, we've run into each other at a good time. You know the mural here in Stowanside? It's said to tell the story of the hero of Galar as well. Though what's there today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be here. You tend to have surprisingly sharp insight, so I was wondering what you might think when you see the ruins. Did someone just cave in the ruins? What? What in the world was that? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins, too. I swear to God, if it's Team Yo. Let's have a look. Come along, Yamper. Yee. He's running as fast as his little legs can go. First. Okay. I am healed. Good, 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 good. I swear, if it's Team Yo, they are... Permanently on my shit list. What's going on up there? Hold on. First, shiny. Sudden big noises are go right way to get people feeling uneasy. They sure are, kiddo. What's going on? What's happening at the ruins? I've seen you before. Are you a gym challenger? Yes, then that is not relevant to the... Oh, as if I needed more reasons to hate you. Destroy it. Destroy it all. We've got... We're going to find those wishing stars. I'm... I'm going to punch you in your stupid face. Yeah, the key was definitely calmer. We've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him. Kaparaja. If you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for, the, for this chance to help him find wishing stars. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my, you again. So you think you can start collecting wishing stars now and get in the chairman's favor? That's the way of things, is it? I see, so you do have some cunning in you. But I won't have it, I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. So you have chosen death. Let's see. Oh, oh. hello, Jimmy Changer. J J Jimmy Chan Jr. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh... You know what? We're almost ten levels above him. You can still take a hit. <laughs> I've already seen more than enough to judge you and your team's abilities. Mm, I 
am not a fan of you. Did you seriously just use Reflect twice in a row? Delusion's going to Seto Kaiba territory. You know what? At least Seto Kaiba was able to, like, maintain a company and, you know, stuff and all that. This is just... an idiot child who needs to be punched in the face. Are you this? All right. I I didn't imagine that. You just reflect three times in a row. Well, I mean, we've boosted up our special attack as far as it'll go. Let's sweep. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Try to send a ponyta. Which might actually be your only good choice, but you know what? Too bad. Come on, next. I have to win this for the chairman. Do you really think I'd let you keep me from everything I want? Yes! Because I did not mean to press that. But you know what? That worked out anyway. This has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do-over. You know what? Fine. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do a do-over. You go run back to the Pokemon Center, heal all the way up, and I'll just fight you as is. Why? How can this be? How could someone like you get in my way? Because you suck at battling, dude! Also, you're a tool. I was the one chosen by the chairman. I was the one who was to defeat the champion. Oh my god. It's because you have no personal merits of your own! I'm one of the elite, someone who can shoulder the future of the Gala region. Challenger Bead. I wondered what you were up to when you asked to borrow Chairman Rose's Caparaja. I can't believe you tried to use the Chairman's Pokémon to destroy a historical site. Who cares for some ancient ruin when the next thousand years are at stake? Did you stand in the path of Pokemon's simple beam or something? How do you expect to support the chairman with that sort of thinking? Young Bead. It pains me to have to say this, but I am truly disappointed. It's true that I am the one who found you back when you were all alone. I saw talent in you. You reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to a trainer school to give you a chance at success. 
This dumbass went to a school for trainers and he's... But trying to destroy the mural, part of Galar's history. You show no love toward Galar. You are clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hammerlock. Please, please rescind his endorsement, I beg you. Um, go. Here we go. You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge, but you're the one who endorsed me. There are a hundred different ways we could sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Because you're... an asshole. Challenger Bead, I will be taking those wishing stars that you have gathered. Ah, Sonia and Riona too. Terrible shame, all this. An absolute disaster. <laughs> Damn right he had this coming. Like, okay, I'm still somewhat suspicious of Rose, but he's earned a bunch of points in my book. Because if he's, like, clearly there's some kind of plot going on in the background here, dealing with the fate of the world and whatever. But at least this dude has enough taste to be like, no, this is not about, like, you know at all costs kind of thing. No, he's trying to preserve some history. That's, that, that's good. Terrible shame all this. An absolute disaster. I never wish to see us lose challengers for this sort of reason. Yet we do what we must to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. Yes. You know, during one of Bede's matches, I heard the announcer say that Bede has no family. Apparently it was Rose who took Bede under his wing, and so Bede was battling for the chairman's sake. Hmm. Doesn't excuse him for being an asshole. What an awful turn of events. I hope the mural survived all that. You just had to say it, didn't you? It appears to be two good boys. turn of events, but the ruins were brought into the light for us to see. What does this tell us about Galar's legends? A sword and shield? Right, more than any hero, there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield. As if they were using them. See, think of Professor Layton. Man, I feel like that's one game I gotta try at some point with Professor Layton, because I remember that was a thing for a hot minute, and I never got around to trying it. Anything else look interesting to you? The hero was actually two people. The same as the tapestries? Ah, good observation. There really were two heroes, but if that's the case, then why only the one statue at the Badoo drop in? More than any statue of a hero or old tapestry, these ruins made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth. Which means...
I mean, it's shield version, so... Yep, I was thinking the same thing. Seems like at some point in history, the sword and shield were combined with the two actual Pokémon and treated as the same thing. But then what? They just, just faded from history? Two young heroes. The sword and shield were actually Pokémon. But why would the truth of these ruins be hidden when their stories were depicted in artwork? With your help, I really feel like we made a big discovery here. Thanks. I'll give you a couple of these, so you keep giving it your best in the gym challenge too, okay? Guess you'll be headed to Balan Lee next, right? Uh, can her to have revise? Let's see, so there was history being covered up by all that over-stylized artwork. I'm gonna have to look into this some more. I mean, that is kind of weird. Like, looking at this deal here, there's clearly, like, stonework around here, but it's been covered up by that rock. This is interesting. That young lady, Sonya. She's researching the truth behind the ruins, right? Could she be the granddaughter of Professor Magnolia? Yeah. Whoa, 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 what's this? The hero was actually two people in Pokemon. I feel it was more artistic before it got destroyed. Aw. Kid like kid like the mural. Ugh. Well, People got a cool new thing to stare at. That's all you can think about, huh? Yeah. Well, we beat the gym with a reasonable degree of challenge, and we also got to stick Bead's face in it. Overall, I would say this has been a pretty successful session. Oh yeah, we're at the hour mark, so I will pick this up. Peculiar teapot that can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. It may be cracked, but tea poured from it is delicious. Oh yeah, there's that teapot Pokemon, and there's more diglets. Huh? 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 Well. Well, gonna call it a night. Thank you very much, dudes, for uh, hanging out. And as always, shall be here uh, next uh, Sunday night. And I look forward to seeing you guys then, as well as during the other times when we meet. Good night.